Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a special episode of the Sherrard Show, live on location at Page 71 Lounge in Studio City. We have a very power-packed show this evening. We're going to be talking to various individuals in the industry, casting directors. We're going to be speaking to music directors as well as agents and executives where people are coming here tonight seeking their big break. I'm so excited because I want to see those out there who've worked so hard with their craft to be able to work, to get that big break that you deserve. If you train hard, if you've worked so much on your craft where you're ready, ready to really be out there, this is the place to be. It's 11916 Ventura Boulevard right here in Studio City. We're going to be here till about 1030 tonight. So come on down so you can be able to meet some casting directors, music executives, and also to see one of the special guests that was on my show just two short weeks ago. She will be performing tonight. Ladina Spence, you don't want to miss this beautiful young lady. But also on the Sherrard Show today is my really good friend. I'm so excited because he just released a book. This book is an awesome book that he's released. It's entitled Memoirs of a Monster. And it's, um, it's not like what you think. It's not a Stephen King book. This is a book that, well, I'm going to let you have him tell you about it. Mr. A.J. Curtis is here on the Sherrard Show, so I'm excited. And before we bring him on to the show, we are streaming live here at WCOBM.TV. And also, if you want to catch the show, you can also catch it on Facebook as well. Um, I'm here all night. Just hit me with an email and subscribe to my channel at the Sherrard Show so you can see more of our great interviews as well. So without further ado, this gentleman, he is the man that taught me how to pay the guitar, ladies and gentlemen. And I am still strumming along. He's my really good friend, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. A.J. Curtis. Welcome to the Sherrard Show. How are you, sir? Thank you. I'm good. Thank you. Awesome. I want to see you playing guitar now. Yes, yeah, yeah, you guys see. Yeah. This man is a ter terrific teacher, and I really appreciate that. Welcome to the show. How have you been? I've been, I've been good. I've been good, thank you. Yeah, I'm uh, working a lot on my, on my new projects, and yeah. You know, we were talking a little bit off camera about the book. This is a fascinating book. I can't get a chance. I can't wait to read it. Um, it's just an awesome um, book. Now, tell us a little bit about Memoirs of a Monster. Tell us a little bit about what the book is about. Um, the book is um, is about a well, it's about a werewolf, actually, but not in your traditional sense of a werewolf. It's not the Hollywood, yeah, it's not the Hollywood. You know, people that are driving get eaten by a werewolf. It's more actually. I've, I, I was very surprised. I've had not one but numerous people have written in and done reviews about the book and said that it reminded them of Interview with a Vampire Very good. And, and also the series Outlander which is really blown my I've watched the series since then and uh, I, I couldn't be more pleased with, with these compliments or these re references to the book it's a uh, it spans 800 years of history it starts in the 1500s then it goes back to the 1200s jumps ahead um, to the Civil War in America and then goes back up into present day. And it, it deals with um, this person's cursed DNA, becoming a werewolf and how they live, how they endure through time, how they endure uh, loss of, of, of love and people and around them, how they deal with betrayal and love and loss of control. Um, I guess in the end, I guess really what it's about is that the, the, the werewolf is a metaphor, in essence, mm -hmm. for the monster that's really in all of us. So, so, you know? what, so what inspires one to write a book like that where, I mean, where do you get started? Because it's a pretty lengthy book. Mm -hmm. um, 300 and, pages, yes. And it's, it's, it's yeah. an easy read from what I'm looking at, yeah. but what inspired you to say, you know what, I'm going to start on a book that's going to deal with the monster in me? Well, you've been well, it for a long time, and I've been on your show for other career reasons right. you know, in the past, uh, and thank you. Oh, I enjoyed you so much. Um, the, so many people have said to me, you need to write your life story, you know? And I tried and tried, and I just found that there was nothing more boring than trying to write a bio, a bio you know, an autobiography. So, and this is the best I could come up So, this is metaphorically kind of speaking a little bit about you. I think, you know, I think that the, the um, I mean, I'm in there, I wrote it. Mm -hmm. So I suppose my philosophies, my, my, uh, my suffering, my joy, my life experiences, I've pulled together 
produced and put into this into this story, you know. And I use different places and times and history and different people to set the stage to present, I suppose, an idea, a perspective, you know. But maybe it gets off. At the end of the day, it's a story. You know, it's a story about a about a world. You know? so, yeah. And now, how would people find it to be relatable to them today? In terms of, um, you know, a lot of people don't really want to realize or admit that they are they have a monster within themselves, but people can relate to where. I think that. Um, I don't think they're relating so much so to, to the world. Um, everyone has dealt with loss, and everyone has has experienced. Well, not everyone, but most people, I imagine, have experienced love. You know, and and when love ends, one person picks up and carries on, and another person becomes bitter and and hurt, and hurt inside. You know, and acts out on it. And so there's there's many. There's many platforms, many faces that people can, I suppose, relate to. It's, it's a very human experience. You know, it's just a human experience over 800 years of history. You know, without it ending. You know, and how do how do we carry on? So um, now, now the thing is that. Um, <laughs> well, but you know, um, I I know that you're a man that thinks on your feet, and also um, you write on your feet. But you know. In terms of your book, you brought out a question in me that I want to ask after this commercial break mm -hmm. about love. And then I also want to pose it to the audience uh, back at home as well. Uh, when we come back, I'm Sherrard. We're live on location at page 71, lounge here in Studio City. We'll be right back, right after this. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to The Sherrard Show. I'm your host, Sherrard, live on location uh, here in Studio City for a very, very good intimate conversation with a good friend, A.J. Curtis, uh, who wrote a fantastic book. Uh, this book is called Memoirs of a Monster. And I was asking a question now uh, where I was going to pose him a question that has been asked for many, many years, probably centuries, about the word love. And since this is basically... Um, a book about dealing with the monsters within us from people who've lost loved ones and people who've lost love mm -hmm. and things of that sort. Have you? What do you think about love? Do you think it's better to have loved and lost or to never have loved again? What do you think? They're never loved. Well, how, I think I think that the answer to that question depends on where I am in my life emotionally. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, love. Love transforms us all, right from birth. You know, you, you when someone is nurtured, they they seem to be more whole, more complete. They handle stress better. They they're more patient, kind, understanding, and loving. You know, we have more compassion. And people who are not nurtured struggle with compassion and understanding. Correct, because they're seeking nurture. You know, um, love. The big question in a relationship is love is wonderful and terrifying you know it's uh it's it's a curse uh it's the disease and the cure isn't it it's, it's fascinating that's yeah. absolutely correct yeah. and and love typically doesn't end favorably you know it, typically but there, there are wonderful stories out there that are in this in this book love ends favorably Really? Yes. It does. Wow. Yes. So, yeah. and, and we like. I should, to know that's that. a spoiler. Sorry. A spoiler. <laughs> spoiler alert. Right, spoiler alert. It's going to end favorably, but yeah. that's great to hear mm -hmm. in terms of that having a safe landing. Yeah. But also, you know, um, when you're writing books, you know, and one thing about you, people don't know that you're a hit maker. You're a songwriter as well. Mm -hmm. um, you're also yeah. a musician, and you've been around for a long time. And many things that you do, most of the things he does, ladies and gentlemen, turns to gold. Wherever you touch, it turns to gold. Thank and you. I'm sure this book is going to be one of them. Now, for those who are, we've been spending a few minutes talking about the book. Where can it be purchased? Oh, uh, it's available just about everywhere. It's on um, Amazon, Kindle, uh, Audible. It's in an audiobook form as well. Um, it's available in Barnes and Noble and you know bookstores uh, globally. It's available globally. I'm sort of amazed at that. You know, but, yeah. are you going to be doing a book a, a book tour? Uh, I I don't know if book tours are even a thing anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be exciting if they were. I know that. Um, Right now, there's. Um, actually, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that or not, but there's there's three major movie companies right now that are on the table, looking at this book. Really? Yeah. To uh, make it into a movie. Yes, they're looking at optioning it for a movie at this particular moment. It's That's very a proud exciting. thing. It's yeah, a very yeah. proud thing. It, it, it it's. Uh, I'm without words. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. Really. And, 
but we'll see. You know, I, I, um, I, I try to take things by the moment, which I, my character in here tries to learn by the moment. So can I at least play the pickle in your movie? If I can just have me as a pickle. I'm, I'm, I don't even want to be the werewolf. Just Actually, book two. I'm I'm 80 pages into book two now of this because there is, there is a second book. Uh, which I'm hoping to have done in the next six to eight months. And uh, to be honest with you, Sean, you uh, have been an inspiration for one of the characters I've written in. Is that right? Yes. And who's that character? I don't want to tell you right now. I'll tell you privately. And then, uh, but you have definitively your face and your energy. The person that I know, the outside of China, is very much alive in this character because you've been my focus for that character. So, uh, awesome. What is it? Uh, oh, that book will be six to eight months. I've just released this in March. Uh -huh. Uh, so it'll be six to eight months before. Wow! Before that can release that. Yeah. Wow, that is so awesome. You know, there's another book that you, that um, AJ is speaking about as well. We were talking about off camera. And that's pretty going to be pretty awesome coming out. And uh, when we come back from this commercial break, we will speak about the book. And then we're going to also find out where we can contact AJ. So if you want him to come to a city near you, he'll be available. I'm Sherard. We'll be right back right after this. Thank you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Shuar Show. I'm your host, Shuar, talking to my good friend, Mr. A.J. Curtis, who's written a fabulous book, if you didn't see it in our last segment, Memoirs of a Monster. That's available on Amazon, Barnes Noble, or any fine retail bookstore near you. Now, um, um, A.J., really quickly, now tell us where they can be able to reach you, um, your social media, etc. So if they want to contact you, maybe do an autograph signing, or just be able to see this man himself. You know, right now... Um I'm promoting or con uh, uh, I'm setting up a lot of things for social networks. I'm about to launch another book. Um, so to reach me, they can reach me on email via the title of the book, Memoirs of a Monster at iCloud.com. It's right on your screen, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Right on your screen. Yeah. Memoirs of a Monster at iCloud.com. Now, now you also were speaking about a fantastic book that's upcoming um, about the Holocaust. Really quickly. Right. Tell us when that's going to be coming available and what's that about. That's going to be available at the uh, end of next week. I'm going to post it uh, globally, wide on Amazon and Kindle. And then I'll do an audio book as well for it. It's about a, um, it's about a, a young Jewish man uh, who's hide a young Jewish boy who's hiding for his life in an apartment and he hears a baby crying and he finds um, a baby German girl wrapped in a Nazi flag in a closet and he has to keep her quiet as the Nazis come into the apartment and hide to leave and from this moment on they're stuck together he ends up living for her and she lives for him and he it's about his journey through through this horrific time and I you know I spent years interviewing Holocaust survivors and doing all the research that possibly could on the ghettos and everything that took place and soldiers and what have you and um, I've been actually writing the book for about 12 years so um, I finally finished it this morning and um, was really I probably cried about 30 times this week the editing and, and, and you yeah. know what? We're not going to even talk too much about yeah. the book until I have a copy in my hand. Right, and we're right, going right. to talk about it more yeah. because uh, we definitely want to have you here again on the, on the show very soon thank so you. that you can be able to talk about the book that comes out as well. Um, AJ, thanks for being on the show. I know thank you have you. a lot more meaning to do yeah. as we're at page 71 uh, lounge here in Studio City. I'm Sherrard. This is just the beginning of the night. You're going to see more interviews tonight. So definitely tune in. We'll be right back right after this. Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Sherrard Show. I'm your host, Sherrard, live on location at Page 71 Lounge here in Studio City, where all of the casting directors, uh, models, and music executives, etc., are here tonight um, looking for new talent as well as talent, looking for new representation. And this lady to my right, um, she's a beautiful young lady. She is a film producer. She's also um, a writer. She's here. Look at this fur. She's this beautiful fur she has on tonight. She is styling and profiling. And she stopped by the Sherrard Show. Welcome. How are you this evening, Lena? I'm excellent. Thank you so much for having me. And what brings you out tonight? Well, I came out. Uh, I'm a writer for uh, my friend Sienna's magazine, and I'm also in the industry. So come by. 
that you're looking lovely. Now, how long have you been in the industry? 10 years. 10 years you've been yes. doing it. Now, you're looking to uh, for scouting for new talent tonight, is that right? Um, yes, well, I'm here supporting my friends, and then I also like looking for models, and I'm also uh, actors, and I'm also, you know, would love to, you know, network and just see what's going on. Well, that's great, you know, it's wonderful that you're out tonight, because there's always actors and models looking for some great representation, as well as casting directors. Now, what are some of the films that you've uh, written for that you've really um, I uh, executive produced a, a, a movie, an uh, independent film called Spreading Darkness. And then I have directed um, some short films that have won awards and uh, screenwriting awards as well. You're kind of young. She's so young. She has so much success, but yet yeah, she looks so young. She said, I've done this, I've done that. What are you, still in high school? <laughs> She's a young lady, but she stopped by. So now, say for example, someone's watching and they miss the event. How can they be able to audition for you to possibly um, have you to represent or put you in one of their films? Um, well, you can reach, uh, reach me on Instagram. I have a Norwegian last name, so it's kind of interesting. Gina Lee Run Up the Artist. And I'm also on Twitter. Yeah, and then I have a YouTube channel called Without Chemicals. Without Chemicals, what's that about? Yes. Um, it just has um, my work and my reel, and so that's a way you can reach me there. Yeah. So do you see a spot for me? Maybe I can put like a pickle in one of your films. Because I, like I really want to, you know, I've always wanted to be a deal pickle. Yes. No, but ladies and gentlemen, this is Gina. She stopped by the Gerard Show for a moment. You definitely want to stop by and see her. We are at 11916 uh, Ventura Boulevard in Studio City. Come out, eat some food, have a great time, and also possibly get your big break. I'm Gerard. We'll have more when we come back right after this. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sherrard Show. I'm your host, Sherrard, live on location at, at the Page 71 Lounge here in Studio City, California. Having a wonderful time. This is for all those who want to come out and get their big break as being an actor, a model, even a singer. We're having wonderful performances tonight. You don't want to miss it. As a matter of fact, one of the guests on my show, uh, Ladina Spence, will be performing at 1030. You don't want to miss that as well. And then um, also meeting some of the biggest guests and some of of the biggest artists out here tonight. This beautiful young lady to my right, she just started her own magazine. She's doing some big, big things right now. And she's not by the show tonight. Uh, welcome to the Shabar Show, young lady. How are you today? This is like, you know, are you sure you're pa not past your curfew? <laughs> This is a wonderful young lady. She looks so young, make me feel like a grandfather. But now, what brings you here tonight? Uh, well, I'm here to audition in hopes um, one of the casting directors uh, will, you know, notice my potential. And um, I'm also here to discuss my magazine that I recently launched. Congratulations! Now, tell us a little bit about your magazine. It's called Life is Art. It's an arts and culture magazine. Um, showcase artists, photographers, uh, actors, anybody in the film industry. What about TV hosts? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Now, how would one be able to, um, first of all, be in your magazine? Well, you can actually submit to it. Um, if you have something that you want to talk about, that you're passionate about, whether it be um, gender equality or the environment, or um, if you feel passionate, like the art of hosting. I feel a lot of people don't even know what it takes to be a host. It takes a lot of work. <laughs> I mean, a lot of sweat and tears. So I definitely would love to talk about it. I'm appreciate. I like her already. See, she, she, she appreciates my struggle, ladies and gentlemen. So I appreciate that. So now, where would one be able to purchase the magazine? You can go to lifeisartmag.com slash order and you can order it either in digital or print because we want to save the environment. Mm -hmm. So it's um, print as you go. There, we don't do bulk or anything like that. We, we want it to be like as women wanted a time. That's pretty awesome. So now, um, how long have you been acting? Oh, um, I think about four years now. <laughs> so so, so you, you got your monologue ready for just in case they say do a monologue, be ready. Is that correct? Yes, I am. That's pretty awesome. Um, we thank you for stopping by the Gerard Show. I know you're going to have a wonderful night. This girl has the look. Lifetime television all the way. I'm Gerard. We'll have more from page 71 when we come back right after this.
welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sherrard Show. I'm your host, Sherrard, live on location at Page 71 Lounge here at Studio City, California, having a wonderful, wonderful time. I'm meeting some very interesting people, ladies and gentlemen, people that are in, in the industry, people that want to get in the industry, as well as their big night to get discovered. So it's very exciting. You want to come down here tonight at 119.16 Ventura Boulevard. Please come on out, bring your resume, have your monologue ready, mixtape, whatever it is. These people are here tonight and they will be here till about midnight. And I will be giving awards out tonight, later on as the evening progresses. Now also, ladies and gentlemen, this is a gentleman to my right. Now, if you've heard a good movie, if you've heard a good movie ending or during the course of the movie, you may have heard one of his beats. This, man, this gentleman to my right, um, he makes beats for movies, and many of his beats have been so chosen by some of the major films. Mr. Spencer, uh, Spencer Bonds is here at the Gerard Show. Hey. Welcome, sir, how are you? I'm good, I'm feeling really good right now, man. Are you enjoying yourself tonight? Yes, I love the Gerard Show, man, such a good time. We appreciate that. Now, tell us a little bit about what it is you do. Yeah, man, well, I produce um, all kinds of music for film, and I mean also for just regular artists, regular artists, but you know, some of my favorite things that I've done is produce, you know, really good music for some of people's favorite movies and their favorite TV shows right now, especially is, for black culture, man. Is that right? Culture. Is yeah. that right? Now, some, what, name some of the um, uh, TV shows you produce for that put people in that mood. Um, I would say um, there's a show on FX called Atlanta. I've made some music for, I've made some music for the movie The Purge 2. I've made some uh, music for even the movie Selma, you know, the Martin Luther King biopic, you know. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I've worked, I've worked with all, I would say, any kind of music. My favorite, of course, is hip-hop. But, man, I love music and I love the entertainment industry, especially for independent artists like myself. So what brings you out tonight? Well, I came here to check out some new some new talent i wanted to see some new artists you know i'm an artist myself but i wanted to see more i wanted to see what this scene and what the culture is all about you know i wanted to see down from the singers the rappers spoken word to the comedians i wanted to just meet some new talent around and check it out because i heard the Sherrard show brings dope people around you know well, well we do the best we can but we love hearing fascinating stories and interesting people like yourself yeah because we know you're doing some big things out there now where are those people who are watching the show tonight be able to contact you because I know a lot of film producers who really want to get out there and have their uh, film really take it over the edge and music can do it yes. so where can they contact you? Yeah man anywhere online anywhere by the name of Spencer Bonds anywhere you can find me Instagram Facebook that name no other aliases just Spencer Bonds you'll be able to find me see what I do and um, see what I love to do and see what I might be able to do for you if you're an artist also well welcome and I really appreciate yeah. you being on the Sherrard show of course. we're gonna hear more from Spencer later on tonight on the show and also we're gonna ask him where he got those glasses from yes. this man is a cool cat ladies and gentlemen and this is just getting started on the evening I'm Sherrard we'll have more when we come back right after this <laughs> 